Welcome to the Stormwater Drainage Solutions channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti, and in today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to install deck drains. Now, in this particular job, we're going to be installing two-inch deck drains. Part of the concrete has already been opened up, and there's just some drainage stone and dirt that is going to need to be removed. And then in the middle here, there is an existing micro-channel drain that is about one inch in size and is completely clogged up. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tracing this channel drain across here and then we're going to cut this out with a grinder and we're going to chisel the rest of the concrete out with a rotary chisel so as you can see here i'm using a sharpie to go ahead and just mark my line so we know exactly where to make our cut with the grinder now we opted to use our grinder instead of a demo saw to cut this because i already knew that the concrete was not very thick so all you have to do is just score a line down it and then use a rotary chisel to chisel that concrete out. As you can see, we're slowly making our way down and chiseling the concrete out and getting it all removed. Now you only have to make one cut because the channel drain on the other side already provides another line. So once you have that concrete busted out, you can then pry out your old micro channel drain to be able to make room for a new one. And as you can see here, we got that old channel drain pried out of there and we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the area and leveling out the ground here to make way for the new channel drains that will be installed. Once you have removed the bulk of the material necessary to get your channel drain set, you will still have to finesse certain areas to make sure your channel drains are leveled out. Remember, when leveling your channel drains out, you want the bubble to be in the middle of the level. You do not want the bubble going to the left or to the right. The reason for this is because channel drains are going to collect surface water. As the water dumps down into the channel drains, it's going to take the path of least resistance, and it's going to find its way into the drain pipe. Now, if you start trying to level your channel drains either to the left or to the right, what will happen is, by the time you get to the end of the run, the channel drain is going to be way too low into the concrete and is going to look unsightly and is going to be a trip hazard. Once you are satisfied with the level of your channel drains, it's time to start prepping them for concrete. Now, go ahead and use a thin aluminum duct tape to tape over the channel drains. Do not skip this step. It is very important that you tape over the grates of your channel drains. You do not want concrete getting down in them and hardening and creating a huge mess that you're going to have to either chisel out or clean up. When it's time to mix your cement, I would recommend making it a little soupy. That way it can flow down into the cracks a lot easier. Now remember, when doing this, hold the channel drain down so that cement does not get underneath the channel drain and lift it up and throw off your level. You may need to put either weights or bricks onto the channel drain as well. That way there is no chance of it lifting up. Once you have your cement installed, use a grout and tile sponge with a bucket of water to clean up all the excess cement around the edges and to give it a nice finished look. Now it is very important that whenever you're installing channel drains, you put some type of drainage pipe to carry that water away. If you just dead end the channel drains into either the grass or the dirt, this is just going to clog the end and the channel drain is going to become useless over time. Another thing that I want to go over in this video, which is also a pro tip whenever working with gravity fed drainage pipe, if you can make a drop in the line like you see here with 245s, this creates head pressure and it allows the water to pick up speed and this will help move any sediment and debris that may get into the line and get it towards the discharge end and out of the drain pipe. All right, well, that just about does it for this job. If you enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge from watching it, give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It supports the channel. And until next time, this is the SWDS channel signing off.